Our family moved uh, to Phoenix in 1959 from Washington, D.C. Uh, I was nine years old. And my family came out in 1960 because my father was told to come here because he had very bad allergies. I didn't realize that it was as small as it was at the time because, you know, even though I moved from New York, you just don't realize it if you get involved in Jewish life. And since we began as members of Bethel when my family moved here in 1960, I thought the community had a lot of Jewish people. Um, I think the hub of the community at that time was primarily based in sort of a central Phoenix core. And and now um, there's probably not a pocket within Maricopa County that doesn't have a part of a Jewish community. Um, proliferation of services um, in terms of, of kosher butchers and restaurants. I think that uh, growing up here one had to be Jewish uh, as opposed to being Jewish by osmosis when you live in a much larger uh, Jewish uh, center. It was just a part of our everyday life cycle. Candles were lit on Friday night and it was just something that you knew that you were going to do and that your parents encouraged you to do. There were many evenings that uh, one of us, if not both of us, were attending uh, meetings for the different organizations that we were supporting. And uh, that was something that uh, we suddenly learned from uh, our parents. We've uh, both lived here for 50 plus years and we want to continue to see the efforts that they've put forth uh, to continue to flourish and our efforts as well so that uh, will be that continuity of uh, from door to door, generation to generation, uh, so that the Phoenix Jewish community can grow and flourish as many other uh, communities have.